Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through how to set up printers in the Easy Solution restaurant application. In this tutorial we'll be setting up three printers, one for the point of sale, another for the bar and the last one for the kitchen. All these printers are POS printers and it is best to buy the same brand and model number for all three. To set up the default printers first, we need to go to Maintenance, Hardware Setup. There are around five printers that you can set up, but we only need to do three. The Reports printer, which prints on A4 or letter paper. There's the POS printer, which normally sits with the checkout computer. And there is the Label printer, if we need to print stock labels. We don't need to worry about the other two printers because we don't need them. To set up the POS printer, you select the printer type. If you have a brand that is not listed, just choose the Epson T882 because most printers use the driver for this type of printer. The second field is Windows driver, so we'll need to install that driver. We can just keep it as a POS Windows driver. The codes here come with the printer type, which will set that up for you automatically. Once we've done that, we'll go to save. Next we need to set up both the kitchen and bar printers. So we'll go to system setup and stock. Here we're going to create a stock group. Under stock group 1, we need to create a printers group. Note that it's a good idea that it says printers. Now save it. Now we'll go to stock. Group maintenance. We see that we now have a group called printers. Notice that we have a bar, kitchen and POS. These need to be named exactly the same as what we set up under windows. Once they are installed into windows, you should name them these names on windows also. If you don't use the same names, they won't work. You also have the option for adding as many printers as you want in this section. Once you've done all of that, you need to add them into the stock cards for all of the stock that needs to be printed in the bar or kitchen. To do that, we go into the stock list, choose an item. Here you can see on the right hand side the printer's drop box. We're going to select it and go to the bar. Once we sell this item, the system will send a printout to the bar printer automatically. Let's do one more. Again, this one has to go to the bar. If we do pizza, we can set this one to go to the kitchen. Once we have done that, we can start the selling process from the POS. We'll go into the POS screen. Notice that there are a few ways we can sell. Takeout, pickup, delivery and dine-in. We can also set up tables and tabs which will be spoken about in a different video. Here to demonstrate how the setup works, if we were to sell Coke, Sprite and pizza, we then pay for it. If we choose print, the printer will do three printouts one to the POS printer, which displays the total and the taxes, etc. One to the bar printer, which will list the drinks, and another to the kitchen for the staff to start cooking the pizza. All of this is done automatically. So once we press print, you should receive printouts that look something like this. The left side is the receipt from the POS printout, and the two printouts on the right are for the kitchen, and bar which also show the transaction type, which is takeout. And the double digit number to the right are the last digits of the invoice number. I hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.